Hello and welcome everybody, this is Joe Sleebach, who's in time for more Dishonor. In the last episode, we made our way back to the Hound Pits Hub after re after, uh, going. Oh, okay. I kind of wondering if they would let you go through there, I never checked that. Um, anyway, after going through the sewers and fighting off graining rags, in this episode, we're going to talk to this girl, because it looks like she might be having... Please, she no. Oh. oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars... We all thought you'd been killed, except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there, looking for you as my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head, just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead, too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was well. drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Penny I would call him Marcus, haven't I? I Martin. Kernow, a debt. They said it was time for like Sokolov and went off to his cage. Yeah. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. Hmm. So it seems to me that they're going I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I mean, this can't sure, happen. Yeah. Stop it. What I do? I might have jumped on top of her by mistake. Yeah. I mentioned this a couple I mentioned this a couple episodes ago that if you jump I don't on think people. The Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide okay. here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the Are... throne. There, jeez. Oh, she's gonna keep following me the entire what the entire time, aren't you? Okay. I, I need to get to the doors. There you go. Fade an apartment key, old port district key, so I'm going to open that door. Um we can open this door earlier. Um, when we're out here, so yeah, that's why there's a key back there. Look at this mess. Relax. One of the officers said he was dead, poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Through the mask <laughs> in the river, they don't know us very well. Do that's what they? a rational person would do, not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage. And only let him out at night. The criminal. Wait a minute. Who's that? Trying to wait for them to finish, but I guess that's out of the question. Um, spin time. <laughs> right there, you saw. Right there, um, you saw that the. Uh, Right there, you saw the uh, bolts or the thing. So, if you're far away enough, the bolts will, uh, will hover in the air when you bend time until you release them, giving you a, giving you time to get them up. This is the same with bullets and I think grenades, except you can't re, re pick up grenades, you have to actually throw them back. I think. I could be wrong on that one. Um, yeah, so. Um, there you go, just warp over here. What we want to do right now, um, before we really go any further with anything, we want to find, um, we'll find a way to deal with these, all these guys. <coughs> Mm 
We obviously can't deal with the, uh, the tall boys. Oh, again, this is the only thing I mentioned was you can't sleep with the tall boys. Um, they're actually I might have mentioned that now that I think about it. Like, uh, they they mentioned that they're so pumped up with like some chem some sort of chemical or stuff that they can't really be affected by. What the heck, up here? Looks like a huh. Whoa! They saw us! They saw us! Where are these gonna see us? Really? It might be enough it's here. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. It's Piero! Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have off? pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you about the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent, Dorot. Corvo! No, I was hoping that was going to be a The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. Hmm. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is okay. more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk and get some items. Um, Do what so... you want, but ask quickly. A couple of episodes ago, we got improved armor and pistol explosive shot ammunition. So we can buy. What? I mean, that's an upgrade. Okay, there we go. An upgrade. Oh, you, explosive bullets. Okay, so we're not going to buy that. It's not really useful right now. We are going to get improved armor. Um. We might as well. Got all the other upgrades. And before we do anything else, like that. Right there, we can buy explosive bullets. Good. There we go. Um, anything else we want to get here? Um, nah, we'll be okay with those. Um, hmm. Good pistol accuracy, too. And I think that's all we need to get right now. There we go. And get some crop bolts. We're not going to be using this money anymore after this point. Um, well, we might. Like, a little bit. But after this level, we're pretty much done. So, what we need to do is we need to get the blueprints from Havelock's room. Um, however, as you may have guessed, the inside of the Helm Pit Hub is... Just as flooded with guards and soldiers. Huh? Damn. What? Guards. Ah. Um. Been time. 
There we go. There's the uh Assassin, help! Ah, come on! Take it. A promotion for the man who this one. He's screwing up with hitting the wrong button. No. Die. Yeah. Can't have no choice here. Where's the background? Huh. Can we, can we draw us? Corvo, remember when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope when you get back, you see this and like it. I'd like to take you to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Callista about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. I told her to lock the door to my t to my old tower. I heard the Admiral tell the others we were leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on Kingsborough Island. Hope you get back before then, Emily. Huh. What the? It's not annoying to keep hearing it. So oh, hopefully you guys aren't going to be hearing that noise, but, yeah. Okay, so... What? Why is no... Like a round of... Better not be a joke. Blink into this room, knock this guy out. And this... Move him over. He didn't cause it. And knock this guy out. Yeah, this is how of trim, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, there you go. Our pile of blueprints. Okay, so we knocked him out. Um, we just. Miron, just kind of head on back to uh, Piero and Sokolov, and we'll fix that up. Fix that problem. I don't know whether that, but that uh, humming noise is coming from the wh or whirling or whatever. Hmm. I think that's a glitch or something. Real well. It hopefully shouldn't last too much longer. We'll go ahead and talk to. We get the blueprint. Astonishing. No, no, for all, you know, for all I know, you guys probably can't hear the whirling sound in the background. Our pylon is complete. Now to act. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system. Okay, you already mentioned our that. enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corco? Put them all to sleep. As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. Okay. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Well, I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> Seems the conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and then discard him. But they have erred and delivered to me an ally almost as brilliant as myself. Old Sokolov and I will be one That's the 
Rubbing I gotta wait for this thing. Make the academy. There we go. Okay, so you just gotta make a way up. Be very careful not to get caught. I'm see there's already some oil oil tanks in there, but only have to do the one. Fortunately, there is an important to do all of them. And just like that, with a flash of light and a bolt of thunder. Simply amazing. It functioned beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Hmm. I'm not sure that's what's making the noise. Okay, so Emily mentioned that Calypso was held up in here. Then... Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. Emily Tower key. All his talk of being. So let's just fret not. I believe there is still some hope for Emily and Dunwall. I don't believe Corvo is gone. I'll be searching the river for him, but if you catch wind of him, shoot up a flare using the lawn and try placing Emily's tower, and I'll make my way back as quickly as I can. Keep this tower locked and take care of yourself. Emily's gonna need you when this is over. Honorable military Ooh. man. But Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near. Whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had. And worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Mm. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. So, yeah. Now we did that, we can make a way out. Ooh. So I was gonna die there for a second. And talk to Samuel. Lewis was also in the here. mission, so it never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. Yeah. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. <laughs> we'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him. Who knows what he's liable to do? We're going to Kingsbury Island. That's where they're taking him. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Okay, so... That's our next mission completed. We only got 15 out there and 60. I believe you can loot the guards when you knock them out. So that might be worth going by looting them and getting all the rest of the stuff, but yeah. There wasn't much else there. Um, you only killed four guys, though there wasn't a whole lot of guys in, in that area to begin with. Um, oh, three bodies are found? Oh, huh, weird. And we got those special actions, so yeah. In the next episode, we're gonna, we're gonna spend our last, we're gonna spend the last of our In the next episode, we're going to spend uh, we're going to spend our final mission getting getting to Havelock on King Sparrow Island. So yeah. Until then, this is it, sir. I'll see you guys. I suspect Havelock later. And Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. And then there's only one way to the top. 
All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. I give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me.